So tell us a little bit about these nails. So you haven't cut it for a while, right? No, I haven't cut them, no. They're... So you said about a year, you said? Oh, yeah, yeah, a year. Okay. So you're just uh, waiting to see me, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just give me. So tell us a little bit about these nails. So you haven't cut it for a while, right? No, I haven't cut them, no. They're... So you said about a year, you said? Oh, yeah, yeah, a year. Okay. So you're just uh, waiting to see me, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just give me. Traffic out there was unbearable, so. Really bad? Oh, it was bumper to bumper, but some car was in a rush to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Always, right? Yeah, but I saw him after he, he you know, he cut me off. He drove down the uh, shoulder, just passing everybody up. No, oh, wow. Yeah, so I hit but, another car and I was mad because I hit the car. Because I, when I, you know, that was my record. I, <laughs> she was in my blind spot and I didn't, you know. You didn't see see that person? Yeah. So what happened? Did, did you get hurt? Or? No, nobody got hurt. Oh, I see. Just the cars. Yeah, just a little dead because we were going about 20, 25 miles an hour. On the oh, trail. you're going slow, yeah. There's a lot of traffic. Yeah. I see. So we're, you know, well, when you get stuck like that, people just lose patience, you know? Yeah. So they saw me on the. They thought I was mad because you know I'm young, mad. But no, I got mad. Cause I was telling them I was trying. I got mad because I hit the person next to me. Oh, I see. And so they decided to retire me out of driving and put me decided to give me a new title. Help my mom out. Really? Just because of the one accident? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty strict. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not even necessarily your fault. I know. I know. Yeah, and then. You couldn't go too fast anyways. This was uh, all yeah. too much traffic. I was on my way to a, a manufacturer to pick something up. Uh -huh. So you don't drive anymore? I haven't seen you in like over a year. Yeah, so yeah. I saw you at the party. Uh, at the party? The okay. Party, yeah. Oh, okay. At the shoe drive, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back again in June, God willing. Okay, we're going to do more shoe drive this year. So I haven't, you know, they were giving me some medicine to eat in the, in the hospital for a while, but I have, my blood pressure's been fine. It's been like about 120 over 70 to 80. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then you have a problem walking? Is oh, it, yeah. Is it affected your... So oh, what... I have horrible neuropathy now. I can't walk without my Moses stick. Oh, really? You never had neuropathy? Oh, yeah, I had it, but not like this. Not like this. Got a lot worse from the accident? I think so. So are yeah. you be, are you being followed by another doctor about the, your your brain issue or? Yeah, I see. The, I'm seeing the neurosurgeon. I see another neurologist. Another neurologist. I go out in um, Fullerton. Mm -hmm. But he's the one who first diagnosed my neuropathy mm -hmm. way back when. But it's really gotten bad after all this. And oh, the brain parts are horrible. Oh yeah. But he's giving me that brain. You know that. 100 minus seven is okay. When we got to 60 something, so like, yeah, I'm done. We don't want. I don't want to do this anymore. But I feel I got really good care. I, just, I don't want to do this again. Right. So are you doing therapy or what are you doing now? Well, I have a physical therapist coming, but I feel like he's not very healthy. He then comes up once a week. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I want to get back to being able to walk. I don't think I'm gonna be, they're going to let me ride a bicycle again, a two-wheeler, but mm. I have to do a granny bike. So I'm going to go back to the VA. I saw them yesterday, and they gave me really good care when I was there. Really? What, what, what were their plans? Well, I'll probably have it. I have to go see the physical medicine doctor to get back in it, but um, mm -hmm. I can go like two or three times a week. Yeah. Wow. Let me let me see if I can cut them. I'm gonna make these look really nice today. So we're gonna be gentle because it could be quite tender to cut. I'll be very happy to see them go. Yes. So for the big bigger toenail, we break out the bigger equipment. So you couldn't wear sandals with these, huh? No. <laughs> now you will, this summer. Right. Yeah. And I'll see you like every couple months, and then we can right. keep it down so that you'll be able to wear nice sandals, and you can go to the beach, right? Okay. This big one is really tough, huh?
Mm-hmm. And we we did live in Oregon for about ten years. Oh, ten years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did you like Oregon? I liked it. I was young and mm -hmm. I was only about five or six when we moved there. And oh, is that right? So you stayed there until I was a senior in high school. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful up there, though, right? Yes. A lot of lot of trees and place. yeah, a lot of rain, right? So a lot Lots of, of rain. a lot of greens. A lot of trees. A lot of fog. A lot of fog too, huh? We've been getting a lot of rain here, just like Oregon, huh? Right. Maybe we're turning into Oregon State. It feels like it. I know. It's been raining every week here. It was really pretty when I went out early this morning. Mm -hmm. The sky was blue and the sun was coming out. Yeah. But before we left to come up here, it was getting really cloudy again. Again, right? Mm -hmm. You wonder if it's going to rain again. Yeah, well, this nail is looks like it's got fungus, so mm -hmm. it needs to be treated once we get it kind of down. And we're going to take a sample to send it off to the laboratory to see if this is fungus, if it is what type of fungus. the um, fruits. I always recommend just having a little bit at a time if you can. And the, another problem with the food is that it doesn't really mix with any other food. I know we always have it after our meal, but that's not a good way to do it. You always want to do it on an empty stomach. Okay, so that's another thing about the fruit as well. I'm going to have them put medication here and soaking it that would get all this thing slough off. I don't want to take it off right now because it's going to make him bleed and it's not good for him but I'm gonna give him medicine to make this better and he's gonna be soaking it and doing other things to make sure he keep this uh, between the toes dry as well. Okay, let's go to the other foot. This is, a, this is another big one. Hmm? How about the rest of the family? Are your family, any of them diabetic or? My mom was a diabetic, she yeah. passed away. Uh -huh. And um, that's pretty much it. No, is that right? Yeah. How about any of your kids? No. I have kids, so I have two kids. Uh huh. You tell them to be careful? Yeah. They're not diabetic? Not diabetic. Okay. Yeah, both of my parents were diabetic. Mm -hmm. Or diabetic, they are still diabetic. And um, so I got the genes from them, but. Um, I just had to learn how to manage my sugar so I don't have to take the medicine. So that's what I do. You don't feel any of this, right? You don't have any sensation per se. I feel, I feel the pressure. You feel the pressure, but yeah. nothing sharp, right? Nothing sharp. Yeah. This one is really thick. Wow. Yeah. So we have some grinding to do. I'm gonna cut a certain amount and then, cause I don't wanna make it, you know, bleed. So when you start putting the medication in here, then it's gonna start softening up and it'd be a lot easier to um, cut and grind down as well. So we'll do a little bit at a time. We're gonna do as much as we can today. Okay. So how about the exercise? Do you do any exercise? Or? Well, I was until, you know. Um, you got busy? Yeah. Life? Traveling. And, yeah? Yeah. But it's to the point where, you know, I have exercise machines at home. So no, really? I shouldn't have a, any kind of complaints, you know. <laughs> no excuse, right? I shouldn't have no excuse. So what what do you have like a treadmill or something? Or? I have a Peloton and I have a Peloton. What is that? Is that the new exercise machine? The bike, yeah. That's and that looks incredibly expensive. Is yeah, yeah. You know, I, I bought it when they first came out. Really? So, and uh, payments is a great thing. Right. <laughs> so what what happened? It's sitting there. Yeah, it's sitting there. You've used it. Me. 
Yeah, I use it. You know. So what's so good about that? Uh, what's uh, so good about that machine? It's it's all about the scenery. You know, go all over the world and. Oh really? It shows you. Is that a screen? Yeah, it has a screen, and you can pretend like you're biking in London or wherever. Oh really? Niagara Falls. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So you just program it, you just put it wherever you want, and then it's wherever got... You, you go. Oh, wow. And then they have live classes, too. Live classes? Yeah. What does that mean? Like you have a trainer online, mm -hmm. and you sign. That's good. You did a good job so far. Cataract surgery is next. Oh, really? Oh, really? You're going to have surgery? Well, maybe. Now, this nail is off to the side now. It's going west. Wild, wild west. This one right here. Tough one. Yeah, this is a tough one right here. It's all curved downwards, so we have to get it straight here. You doing okay, Vaughn? I'm just fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. So much trouble. No, not at all. This looks great. This is what I do every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Not a lot, but I do. I do enough. We had a, another lady. She was ninety-two years old, and then she hasn't had her nails cut for two years. Mm -hmm. Her nails are this long. Wow. Yeah. So yours is quite mild. Not a problem at all. How do you walk? You know, she couldn't walk because um, the nails were too long. She wanted to walk on the beach. She couldn't do it. See, yours is easy. Yours is easy. See how quickly I can cut? Hers were 10 times harder to cut. So where do you live near the beach? Here in, in Long Beach? In Naples. Oh, you live in Naples. That's a nice area. Mm -hmm. You go to the beach a lot? No, not now. No? So we, uh, she walks around the canals. Yeah? Wow. Oh. So where are you from? I'm from, I'm from, I'm from New York. Oh, from New York? Oh, wow. Bronx. Oh, for Bronx? You're a tough guy, huh? I'm right? a doctor fan, too. I'm oh, sorry? I'm a doctor fan. You're what? With their Brooklyn Dodgers. Oh, Brooklyn Dodgers, okay. You saw their, you saw their good old days, huh? Did you ever go watch the games? Yeah. When? That was the last time you went. Long time ago, huh? So when did you come out here to California? I lived in San Diego about my mom was to California. I love San Diego. Yeah, San Diego? Yeah. So when did you come out come out here to San Diego? Well, uh, a long time. Long time ago, huh? How about up here in Long Beach? Yeah. Your family up here in Long Beach? Yeah. Your kids? Nope. No kids? Mm -mm. You've been single all your life? Yep. Wow, never got married? Mm -mm. Uh oh. You're smarter than all of us, huh? <laughs> that was a joke, Bruce. We're supposed to laugh about it, right? Yeah. 
So when did you come to Long Beach? 